एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट रिएक्ट रिडक्स इंटीग्रेशन सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन हाउ वी आर एबल टू मैनेज द सेशन सो वी हैव सीन द वी हैव इंटीग्रेटेड आवर ऑथ ए पी आईज सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी शोन यू हाव इट वॉज वर्किंग वी हैव नाउ लॉग इन लॉग आउट एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर हैपनिंग विद द हेल्प ऑफ कुकीज दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड now after managing the session inside our context apis now we will move ahead and we also want to have store lots of data inside a redux state so let's use redux toolkit and user session data can stay inside our uh, react context apis so we are using mix of everything we have hooks we have context apis and now we are also going to use a redux toolkit uh, with that so what we are going to do for introducing redux toolkit we go to package json and here we are going to add react redux couple of dependencies we are going to add react redux and redux toolkit redux js toolkit and typings for react redux and redux this is the the module redux dev tool extensions I don't think this thing we need because now it's a part of Redux Toolkit only. While creating a configuring a store, we can pass a dev tools to true or false. This may be optional, but these all these packages we need: React Redux, Redux Toolkit, and typings for Redux and Red React Redux. Okay. Now what we need to do? We have added these dependencies inside of one of our package. So we'll go to root and we will do npm install. that will take care of installing the dependency for the this for these three new packages three new node modules will get added okay now we are going to talk about okay how this state management state management is going to work so this is our our react app right and we can manage the the state inside a react app using hooks using context apis using react redux the legacy way of using react redux or maybe some other library there are different libraries are available i remember recoil js x state these are other state management library which can be integrated with react now we are going to use redux toolkit which is just an enhanced enhanced version of redux only it's not new concepts are still same these are the components and they can dispatch the actions and they can access the state using use selector and use dispatch because we are writing functional component we can use these hooks to access the state so this is our you can say redux uh, state and now in the using redux toolkit we are creating slices which is a combination of your all the reducers and action creator asynchronous actions and all i mean if you want to explore this a little bit then we can check this out but i have already covered it in many places how the redux toolkit really works so you can see what we are doing is we are creating us configuring the store this is how we create a store and then we pass the store to our uh, root component okay i want to talk about some examples mm. i mean you can also use rtk query with the redux toolkit that is the advantage on top of that you can see here redux toolkit overview yes so this is how we are creating a store configure store and then we can dispatch these actions so this store the store is a combination of the reducers okay and these reducers are nothing are coming from these multiple slices like here we are going to have a restaurant slice select a uh, restaurant slice cart slice auth slice user slice all these slices we are going to have and you can dispatch these actions okay i will just take a simple example this is how the slice looks like okay slice will have the reducers and then slice will export all the actions defined inside this slice and a reducer right okay. i mean there are lots of things like how it really works earlier and how it is now what we will do is we will create a slices and we will create a store 
and then one by one you will be able to understand all these things together so inside source we will create a redux folder and inside redux we will create a store and all these things let's say i will create a store and here inside redux you will create a multiple there can be multiple slice so you will create a cart folder and the restaurant and inside that you can create the slices for all of these so there is a cart slice.ts we are going to add restaurant slice and then here we are going to create a store index.ts i mean the concept is still the same uh, if you remember how we used to do in the redux there used to be a simple action we used to create an action so this is action and we used to dispatch this action which contains the type and the payload because action contains the type okay which particular action you are hitting and once you dispatch it, it is going to the reducer. So here we are writing a reducer. I don't know why it is collapsing every time. Here we are creating reducer. And then reducers are giving us the new state which we are updating inside a store. So everything is inside a big store object, right? The whole state tree is inside a, this big uh, store. And these there are there can be multiple reducers, right? They all combinedly represent a one single state tree, JSON object. And all these are synchronous because these are the pure functions we are writing inside a reducer. So there is an action, okay, create user, update user, delete user, yeah, add a like to particular dish menu items add restaurant update restaurant all these will be the actions with the payload all these actions synchronous actions will be handled by all these reducers and combinedly reducers is representing a single state object tree so it's like you can see a big store the store object which your components will access using use selector and will dispatch the actions using use dispatch okay here you can see a react component this is you can see react component and what react component can do now react component will dispatch the actions they will dispatch okay let's say the login action they will dispatch and these actions will go to the reducers they will just update the state and then that state is available inside a store and that store we are consuming again with the react components so what these are react app component and here inside this react app component because we can use use selector and we can access the data from the store so we are dispatching the actions to the store creating a new state object because these are this is the immutable store once you send an action it is always going to return a new state and this is whole big json object like if you have multiple reducers so that whole data is available to your react components and you can do use selectors or map state to props map, map dispatch to props if you are writing a class based component here we are doing a use selector And using that, you can actually get a particular node of this JSON object, like the users, user list, or selected user, or any particular node. So we are dispatching from the React component and accessing the data uh, of the, the Redux store using use selector. And these actions will be submitted to the reducer. This is all when you are sending a synchronous actions, means they don't have any asynchronous logic. Once we started talking about, okay, we are going to wait until the promise is resolved first we are making api call then we are checking okay if promise is resolved then just send a create user success create user failure that's the one way of doing it like don't initiate actions even before uh, promise is resolved so we were making api call first then either it is resolved rejected and then based on the state we were sending 
we were sending these actions right so that is the one way otherwise you can dispatch we can use a redux thunk that is that will help you to resolve the promises first before sending the actions to the reducer so we were using redux thunk redux saga and then after all these solutions there is something called redux toolkit that contains all these things together so redux toolkit concept is same here what we are going to do we don't we will not be doing lot of actions we will be just creating these slices so in redux toolkit what has been changed components are still there using component in through the component we are dispatching but these actions are now part of your slices and these are not reducers these you can call like user slice and everything like actions reducers are all inside these slices start slice restaurant slice and all these slices will uh, there is a method configure store and through these slices we will get the reducers all the reducers and we will just combine the reducers same as redux and we will create a store and that store we can pass as a provider to the root root react component and we will start accessing this uh, redux toolkit here we will be same doing dispatching and this this card slice this these all these different slices either it is going to the auth slice or card slice in that slice if it is synchronous actions it will just give us the new state object right away and then this that that new state object can be uh, exposed or can be consumed by any react component if it is a uh, api call then we have i think a uh, particular hook create a sync uh, okay api reference create a sync tank that api is already there here we are going to make an api call and then to because this is going to represent a promise so we, we will wait for these two different states either this fetch by id fulfilled or rejected based on that we will we will play with the state if it is resolved okay add this data in the redux state if it is rejected then just set an error message don't add the data okay so that is for the api calls that means asynchronous actions when you are fetching the data and once you get the data means how you will get the data initially that api call will be in the pending state then either it is resolved or rejected based on that you can update the state you can get a new state and that is all happening inside extract reducers so this reducer which is there inside a slice that is only doing the synchronous things okay where you know the actions and what will be the next state here accept reducers when you are making an async call then it can track your fulfilled rejected or pending all these three different states we can uh, maintain okay so this is our simple diagram to illustrate like what uh, how the redux toolkit is going to work here we are going to create multiple slices we are going to create a configure store and configure store we are going to export these reducers from all of these and these slices contains multiple things because slices contains actions it contains actions it contains reducer and you will also define selectors inside a slices because actions like all the different actions we are defining inside this uh, user slice okay update user delete user so those becomes actions those actions can be consumed by your react component directly these actions reducer you won't be accessing reducer from react component you will just uh, send an action action will use these synchronous reducers to give you the new state and then you will use these custom selectors okay user selector profile selector account selector or restaurant selectors using this you can actually grab a particular property of redux state like uh, state dot user dot user data so you can create a selector for this and you don't need to do a dot b dot c in the component you are getting the the right property from the uh, this slice we are creating okay so now let's try to create a store and all these slices okay so let's configure our store and uh, our slices so how we are doing it so we need to first create a store so we will just create a store export default here we have configure store method 
configure store so we have it so configure store and we'll pass all the reducers inside it i need to import it it's not quick fix it should be coming from redux js toolkit okay i don't know why it's not showing here configure store okay and inside this we have arguments reducer and then there is a dev tools that we will set true that means we want to do a debugging and here we can say restaurant and here we are going to create a restaurant reducer okay next thing is let's say the uh, the cart here we are going to create a cart reducer and here let's say we are talking about a restaurant cart and the, the dishes the top 10 dishes right which we are going to show on the landing page so here let's create uh, these slices they will give us all these reducer so i will just put the name for now restaurant reducer that we will import this is cart reducer and then dishes reducer and then dishes reducer so we are we need to create uh, slices and get these data from there and how the slice look like okay what we need is we need to have an initial state and then dispatch all these different actions right so let's say i will just talk about simple auth slice first I and mean, we are not going to use it but just for an example how it really looks like redux here let's say if i'm creating auth and then auth slice dot ts So how it really looks like is, is we always have a current state and then here we need to create a call the create slice method export const auth slice and we will just call create slice method that takes an object and we need to import create slice from redux.js here there should be a create slice okay inside create slice what all different arguments we need the name okay the name of this slice is auth and what are the argument initial state we can create a custom types okay let's say here because it's type typescript so const initial state is of type initial state and here you can define your initial state is auth is let's say uh, is logged in which is of type boolean so this is your initial state initial state this is the parameter so this is the default initialization of your state and we need to define this interface this is of type user state and then here we define the interface export interface user user state and it is going to have auth auth is of type any let's say so user state auth is logged in is boolean but append not refers to but it is going to use it as a value okay yeah sorry it's a uh, let's say false what i'm doing and this initial state is assigned there you can even specify it this is my initial state and then after that we have a reducers and there is another argument we have extract reducers 
right in extract reducers you can just write some async actions and we can play with that uh, there so here inside the reducers you will just let's say you are actually adding things like login success okay here you will access your current state of type any and action of type any and here what you are doing you are returning whatever is your current state let's see and here inside auth we are overriding auth object is logged in this is the property we have is logged into true simple right so what we are exporting we are ex we have this so login success is an action and accept reducers we will put something in there so here while exporting things from this let's say login success is one there are other things also login failure this is an action here So what all things we will be exporting from here is export const export const I'm exporting these actions so first of all we can get these actions like login and uh, okay export const and this is coming from auth slice so there is a user slice auth slice dot actions and what all actions we are exporting you can see there is a login success login failure these actions are automatically coming right these are the two actions we are uh, returning and if you have any selectors you can define that like user selector I'm, I'm not going to do anything here i will just return the whole state object so this is a default selector and then export default auth slice dot because we have reducer on top of that this we are exporting so now we have auth reducer right that we can import here inside auth there is a auth uh, reducer so let's see what we are exporting from here export default reducer so it can be simply because it's a default export default import auth reducer from i will go one side out auth and then inside auth you have auth slice from there i'm getting the auth reducer so similarly we will create a restaurant reducer cart reducer and dish reducer these some of these slices let's say i will just copy this thing here inside a restaurant slice they are going to have some asynchronous actions it's not like okay they are just straightforward they are there we are going to have asynchronous actions also that we are going to define let's say instead of user we can just simply replace it with restaurant restaurant state let's say this contains some data we will fix this later and it has any data is of type uh, any here also it is data so this is my initial state right and this is restaurant slice so currently we don't have any synchronous reducers for it because for fetching the restaurant i need to make an api call right to make an api call you can actually do the same thing here we can use this uh, create async thunk export const fetch restaurant and here we can call create async thunk We just get uh, where it is I don't know why this autocomplete is not working it's create a sync thunk <clears throat> and inside this 
you will specify okay what api call we are you are making api fetch restaurants okay and this is like a sync call again here you are going to write a callback function async and inside this you are going to make an api call so return let's say await exios dot get something that we will define here i can just define import exios from exios okay. it is complaining okay i just only exios from exios exios dot get and this is what it is returning right but fetch restaurant is really an api call this is the name of the action api fetch restaurant so here to resolve this we need to make uh, we need to put three different actions for this api call fetch restaurant dot fulfilled rejected or resolved right so here inside extract reducers we define it like this so here it can be in three different variants and here we are having fetch restaurant dot pending type is it only about just s so we'll just add it and this is restaurant state because currently we haven't create uh, we haven't created a type for this initial state as what is the type of this initial state okay we need to create a type restaurant state for now that's what we are saying this so restaurant state this is your current state and now inside a state we i think we have only data property right so we'll just assign whatever is coming something we, we are going to assign or you can capture three properties okay if the the state is pending when it is the type is pending right uh, pending dot type fulfilled there should be fulfilled and there should be rejected let's say if the state is fulfilled then what you will put inside the data state dot data equal to action dot payload dot data or action dot payload because you have received the response so here restaurant state here it should be response dot data status pending or whatever you can just set something like this because in our state we have a data this is of type restaurant state and this is how we can play with this so here it is a asynchronous uh, reducers you can say because there is no synchronous or actions are happening for asynchronous this is how we need to do we need to write a interface api call and then this api call can have a three different state uh resolved fulfilled or pending inside pending we will show okay this is full uh, this is pending here in this fulfilled that means this is resolved whatever the name you want you can just put it here it is rejected so state is rejected resolved and it's pending and it is, it is going to update our state which contains the data so this is how we are creating a restaurant slice and then you can export the actions of the the restaurant slice okay here it is restaurant slice we will export the actions and these actions these are not actions actually these this is actually a function which is written outside we can just trigger this so fetch restaurant okay this is not inside an action so we will skip it here what else we can do we can write a simple selector which talks about okay state dot questions and here we will export the reducer restaurant slice dot reducer so wherever we are importing we can import the restaurant slice okay so this is pretty much about uh, the slices now what we are going to do we are going to do the real integration so that we can show the the top food menu items on the landing page uh, we need to create a simple search uh, or with the filters one api 
which we can call get the data using Redux Toolkit state and populate that state data onto the UI. This is our simple next state. So simply, sim similarly, you can create a card slice, or slice, or restaurant slice. Restaurant slice will deal with the restaurant data. So we are going to make an API call, fetch the data, store that inside a React Redux, and render it. Okay, let's see these slices more in the action in from the next video because that there we are going to do the real API integration of the, the other APIs like restaurant, cart, order, all these APIs.